Right, hello and welcome to this quick video. Um, sort of making it quick because time is probably pressing and okay. So, hardly going to reach hundreds of thousands of people with this information, but still, got to get it out there, haven't you? Um, today I've been experiencing some quite strong feelings in the torso here, sort of almost a little bit scary to experience, sort of what I, what often we've called heart palpitations before maybe, but they're not in the heart. Um, I do believe it's part of the hormonal endocrine system here. I would have my thymus here and I've been feeling them sort of a bit below, sort of like feeling like fluid is is moving around and as you don't usually feel fluid you might think oh is there a problem with my blood flow and um, you know that would be the worry so <laughs> had some quite strong ones and been good I said the weed I'm smoking and it was interesting sort of position it just not sure what's related you know anything I've done anything I've thought Anyway, I have spoken about this before, and I have, have also um, said, you know, they're not heart palpitations, whatever. Um, have I ever said that, are they being caused by something coming out of the sun? Because in a way, the randomness of it, and, you know, how do I feel afterwards, enduring, I've, I've got to like them, and... I feel fine afterwards, during, sometimes I feel a little bit, ooh, you know, um, so could be a health thing, am I going to drop down dead, well, hopefully not, I don't believe I am, my health, apart from other things, appears well, uh, I haven't been overly active lately, but I've been active enough, anyway, is it coming from the sun? Now, there's something else I want to talk about as well, and it's all going to be surrounded around this Psalm 121. Psalm 121, as I've spoken about before, the Jehovah's Witnesses said that from Psalm 1, it was predicting the beginning of the end times or whatever, starting in, what they say, 1901. So 121 would apply to the year 20. 2021. Now Psalm 120 summed up 2020 perfectly. It's very short and um, if you haven't heard it I'll say it quickly. I called to the Lord in my distress and he answered me. O Lord I cried save me from lying lips and from the tongues of slander. What has he in store for you slanderous tongue? Question mark. What more has he for you? Question mark. Nothing but a warrior's sharp arrows or red hot charcoal. Hard is my lot, exiled in Meshek, dwelling by the tents of Kedar. All the time that I dwelt among men who hated peace, I sought peace, but whenever I spoke of it, they were for war. So that was Psalm 120. Okay, it doesn't perfectly apply to the year 2020. But very much 2020 was about COVID and lockdown. And you could say it fits with that. By the way, as I got towards the end of that, I was feeling some more of these feelings. <laughs> so I dropped dead on camera, but then there wouldn't be anyone here to upload it, because it's not live. Anyway, Psalm 121. If I lift up my eyes to the hills, where shall I find help? Help comes only from the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. How could he let your foot stumble? How could he, your guardian, sleep? Question mark. The guardian of Israel never slumbers, never sleeps. The Lord is your guardian, your defence at your right hand. The sun will not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will guard you against all evil. He will guard you, body and soul. 
The Lord will guard your going and your coming now and forevermore. So it's an extremely encouraging um, one, which is nice. Now this particular bit here, the sun will not strike you by day nor the moon by night. So I think, you know, this says a couple of things. <clears throat> so here it's talked about, you know, the Lord is going to protect you. Our creator, God. And is never, you know, is never going to forget, you know, put out of your mind any doubt that um, the Lord might... Uh, Look away for a moment, and in that moment, not protect you, okay? So it's kind of giving you real solid reassurance that God is ever watching, going to look after you. So the sun will not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. So, first of all, that's saying the obvious, that the sun isn't going to hurt you. And it isn't saying the sun is going to help you. So, potentially, we could be getting things from the sun that's going to help us. And I've heard saying, uh, I think it was Alison Coe, uh, um, her quantum healing reading, saying that the, um, the light that's coming onto the earth in this year is going to change the plants in some way. And they're going to be doing new things. So, and maybe everything, plants, animals, and um, us as well. So, Psalm 121 here, by saying that the sun will not strike you by day, nor the moon by night, might be saying that the sun is going to give you some good things. <laughs> it might be saying that the sun is going to strike you at night, but that wouldn't make any sense, would it? It's also not saying that anything else is going to strike you by day or night that there's going to be some other harm done to people and that's my warning that's my concern is that this vaccine is going to be doing harm and that if you had trusted in God you wouldn't be going to anything else for any help you wouldn't be going to a vaccine and um, yeah so uh, I'm feeling I'm feeling that is it it's nice it's actually gone a lot lower which is um, less scary it feels nice I don't know, it might be connected to my soulmate. I don't know. I've just got to... I can allow the feelings that, and, you know, you're doing something with love. You love it. And that's kind of critical in these paths we walk in deep meditation exploration. So, yeah, that was that. Just a quickie. Ciao for now. Get this thing back up. Stop. Bye.